Hello, what is going on, everybody? Gaming Magic 13 here, and welcome back to some more Lego Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues, where in the last episode we tackled the final bonus level of the Last Crusade, which was Venice Tunnels, and this is where we're going to be tackling the super bonus level, the last super bonus level, the last crusade, one might say, but um, tish. Grimshot, not whatever stupid thing certain someone else called it. And so this is where we're going to be tackling the super bonus level of the Last Crusade, and as you always know, this is made up of breaking open the 10 treasure chests which we have collected over the course of both the treasure mode levels and the bonus levels, and then reconstructing the pieces which come out of them into something new. In this case, we're essentially fixing up a, fixing up a makeshift Mount Rushmore. So let's reassemble all of these pieces, and um, I, I'm going to speed this part up as I always do. Once it's fully completed, one of the mouths will open, and then you're gonna jump and grab onto the rope. Then pull yourself up into the model and get blasted into the sky to the super bonus level. As always, the super bonus level takes place in a town littered with studs and we must collect one million of them. So let's team up with our buddy Mutt one more time in an adventure to collect one million studs. So the first thing we're going to do is drive over all these pressure plates in town, and you'll see what that does once we hit all of them. And, again, this is going to take on a more of a Let's Play format commentary, just because there's, no, there's nothing really I can explain other than this right here, which I'm going to back up into in a minute. Let's do that. Is this soccer ball right here? We've seen this countless times. Push the soccer ball into the net three times, and as a result... Something special happens in this particular instance, once we hit the ball in the net three times, that elevator rises up to get five purple studs, I believe. Let's do that really quickly. <sighs> I mean, admittedly, even though I despise the story mode level for this the story mode for this game from a story perspective, I, I gotta admit that it's I've had a lot of fun. The, this Lego Ninja Studio has been a big big part of this channel because it's it's taken two years, essentially, to do this. It shouldn't have taken two years to do this, but it has. I've been at this since May of 2015, stopped on June 26th of 2015, and, and for doing that, you may you may notice that there, uh, for stepping on all the pressure plates, we can nest up on this elevator, and just and stepping on the elevator allows us to pull this lever, or turn the switch, and by turning the switch, all the water will be essentially evaporate or sink somehow, and now we can collect all of these studs. Which will do great things for our stud count. We're already at 800,000. So that's that's a something. We're never at 800,000 this quickly into the video. I'm gonna miss these super bonus levels. They're 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 fun. They're they're always they're always kind of a, just a run around, have fun, bust, bust a bunch of. They remind me of the ancient city bonus super bonus level from from the original Lego Indiana Jones. They they remind me of that one, and that that's a good thing. I, I like being reminded of that kind of stuff. So I like these. I like these Super Bonus Souls where you get to a million studs. They're they're cool, and I am gonna miss covering them. I'm gonna miss covering this game really. Just I mean I know I say it with all my walkers and all my let's plays, but I, I I do I do miss all of the games that I cover. Most of the games that I cover, there are a few games that can be left out to die. But in general, I don't I miss all the games that I make videos on. And and even if I didn't particularly like the game, I still I still miss making videos for it. But anyway. And we're not done yet, we still have a few more things to cover in Last Crusade, and then of course I have to show you guys what the creator bot playset's all about, which of course is the highlight of this game, obviously. I, I don't know why they didn't bring it back in future games, but hey, what are you going to do, I suppose? It's still a great feature, and I'm glad it's in this game. Anyway, there isn't much special about this town, there's just the soccer ball, there's the water stunt... Other than that, there's, I mean, except for the shovel, uh, or the things to dig up, I mean to say. Except for that, there's nothing really all that special about this, about this particular town. It's all just kind of stud collection. Hey. And of course, you can bust open these mailboxes to get some extra studs. Beyond that, there's nothing ex extraordinary about this. I mean, there's a motorcycle right here. I'm, I, I don't know if the... Oh dear. If the vehicles you unlock apply to this level or just the Canyon Quest levels, but oh dear. Didn't want to fall in there. 
All right, let's grab the shovel and start digging some stuff up. Anyway, Lego Indiana Jones to the Avengers continues will be gone on my channel. I'm just gonna miss covering the main, the, the main game, the treasure mode, the bonus levels, all the, the open worlds and everything. I'm just, I love this game. I, I love pretty much all the, pretty much, mind you, all the Lego games. There are a few that were less than stellar. And if you judge them based on the story mode, this is one of them. Uh, partic particularly Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, that didn't resonate well with me. I, I, know, I, th I know a lot of people st still liked it, but I just, it didn't strike well with me. And as for Lego Harry Potter goes, uh, I didn't enjoy it main mainly because A, I have a bad stigma associated with when I first played it. Which, I may actually tell that story. I, I, I'm not going to have the time to, obviously, in full detail, because uh, we're almost a million studs. But that, and I've never read the Harry Potter books, so it probably it didn't do that much for me. I think I think if I'd read the, the books, I would have enjoyed it a bit more. Like, I've seen the Indiana Jones movies and everything, so I, I get a little bit more out of it. But, I don't know, it just doesn't, it didn't sit well with me. Anyway, I, I guess we have a little bit of time for me to tell the story. So basically... When I first played Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, that is, I haven't played 5 through 7 yet. Oh, we're done. Okay. It was at a friend's house, but this, it, it wasn't, there was some drama going on at the time, which I won't get into, and I just, I, I, it, the, there was a, there's a stigma associated with when I played it, so I don't, I don't, I didn't enjoy it that much, I don't know. It's just, maybe I would have enjoyed it better. Also, that was called Lionheart. Not sure why, but it was. Anyway. There's the Last Crusade, and I could let these credits roll since it's the last time they're going to roll, but I want to save my reflection thoughts about this about this game as a whole for for the for the reflection video that I'm gonna make after I ever, after everything is said and done. So let's just skip past this one more time. I mm, I will, however, let this play because it's the last time we're gonna see this. This is a classic. I just don't know why the credits play after pretty much everything. Whew. Alright. Well, we're almost done with the last crusade. I'm gonna guess we're 60-70% of the way done with the last crusade. We're 100% done with the super bonus levels, as you can see. 100% complete. All super bonus levels completed. No more super bonus levels. We've done them all, and you can replay any of them at any time, and I, I definitely like doing that. Specifically, this one. I like bike hike a lot, and I, I like all of them really. But this one, this one's pretty cool. Anyway, so now let's see how close I was with Last Crusade. Seventeen point two percent complete. I was almost right on. I was almost right on the nose with it. Anyway, next time we are going to be tackling the events around town. There's speedboat races and flying races, uh, and things like that. So we're gonna be doing all those next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, this has been a Gaming Magic 13 signing off, saying I hope you have a fantastic Oracle day, and I will catch you all next time for some more LEGO Indiana Jones 2 Adventure Continues. Goodbye!